Hello everyone. In this video, we will be looking on how to make an airfoil in your Autodesk Inventor. So first of all, we have to get the coordinates. To get the coordinates, we can go to this website, airfoiltools.com. And for example, if we need the, if we have to make airfoil for Naka 0012, so you Naka 0012 search. So you open the pretty much the first link. So over here we have the layout or the cross section for the airfoil that need to plot, which is Naka 0012. To get the coordinates of this airfoil to the inventor, we have to click over here, send to airfoil plotter. Then we need to get the CSV file of coordinates. All right, so then we open it up. All right, for this one, we have to delete this section and make sure the coordinates of 100 and 0 0.126 go to A1 and B1. And once you go down, you have to also delete the camera line and the cord line as well. That's it. So now you save this file in the Excel format. All right, so let me just save it on my desktop. Excel comment. Make sure that your format is in the Excel or your inventor might not be able to read it properly. Okay, that's it. So we have the coordinates for the air file. Now we open our inventor. We create a new sketch in the XY plane. Then you go to insert and go to points. See, import points. Now we open our Excel file. So here we have the layout for the coordinates of the Naka 0012. Now what we have to do is to combine all these points. So once they are combined, we will have a cross section of the airfoil. So you zoom in. Yeah. So you go to line, you select spline, control vert vertex. And now what you have to do is to select individual points right at the center. So, so for the guys who got the idea of it, you can just skip it further or fast forward it. So you just have to connect all the coordinates over here. Make sure to connect right at the center of this point where it turns green or your airfoil or the further calculations that you do will be all messed up. So you just select. I know it looks very boring, but yeah, to make the airfoil, that's the only thing. Well, not the only thing, but I would say the easiest thing to do. And you can always fast forward it to the end where this airfoil is completed.
So on airfoil tools, you can actually get the coordinates of virtually almost all the airfoils. I have worked on many different airfoils and airfoils airfoiltool.com is the website where I always go to get my airfoil cross section. Since I'm in a rush, I might have clicked a bit wrong on some places, but it's okay. Since the purpose of this video is to show you on how to do it. For you, make sure you click right on the center of these points. Because on some of the points, in a hurry, I was unable to do that. So we are almost here. Alright, so for the last point, you just take it out a bit and close it like this. And just alter it a bit like this. Alright, so here you have it a cross section of an airfoil, which is Knuckle 0012. And for example, if you have a span of like 3 inches. Or oh, let it be 5 inches, all you have to do is just extrude, okay, this is pretty much small, let it be 50 inches, still small, let it be 50 inches, right, yeah, so there you have it, um, Naka 0012 profiled airfoil, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So for any other airfoil, you can just get the coordinates from the website and just import and save in a Excel format and remove the unnecessary coordinates and just import over here and use spline to connect all the dots and then extrude. That's it. Alright, so until the next video, have a good day. Bye.